Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and run TeamViewer. TeamViewer is used to uh, remote access into another machine. And so this works on both Windows and Mac. So you can use a Mac to control a Windows or a Windows machine to control a Mac. Alright, so uh, we're here on the TeamViewer website and we're going to download the free version. and we're going to run it. Now we have the option of installing or running it uh, without an install and this is cool because you can throw it on a thumb drive and you can go to pretty much any machine and you'll be able to run it off of that thumb drive without having to install it. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and show the uh, install and this is for a personal non-commercial use and I'm going to accept the agreements and then I'm just going to hit uh, normal installation and full access okay click on finish if you have a firewall it's going to ask uh, for access to the internet and just go ahead and allow access okay so here is the team viewer program now if you were allowing somebody to connect to your computer this is the information that you'll need to give the other person which is the uh, ID number and the password right and then if you are on um, the side where you're gonna control someone's computer you need rem remote access what it is that they'll give you a number and which is like this one and you'll type it in right that's the number that they gave you or they just they gave you just some random number uh, you'll click on connect to partner and then it will ask for a password so then you type in that password and you'll be able to connect to that person's machine alright and you got options here uh, as a presentation to use your machine for presentation purposes or to transfer files you can uh, transfer uh, files uh, from your machine to their machine or VPN a virtual private network which will allow um, secure access but oftentimes it's it's a little bit slower than just remote support but if you're just helping out someone's computer then uh, just go ahead and do remote support All right so that's pretty much it um, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.